Hi, this is Miranda from My Scrappy Life, and welcome back to my channel. This is a process video for Confessions of the Paper Attic Cut File Shop, where I am going to use the pie chart as my layout, or as my cut file. Um, Happy New Year! This is my first um, layout back for 2022 for Confessions, and obviously... I absolutely love this company. Virginia is fantastic, so make sure that you go give her some love over on all of the social media stuff down below. Also, make sure that you go check out her group because she always gives out freebies, and I really love the freebies. So, instead of doing one of her new ones for the month of January, I stepped back in time into 2021 and did the pie chart one. So, it is available on her Etsy shop. Now, I did a little bit of a twist on it. Now the pie chart, she drew it all out to where you could essentially have all the little bits and pieces of the pie chart. I will link my playlist down below for my Cricut tutorial on how you manipulate the PNG file so that it doesn't show all of the pieces. I've done it so many times over and I think maybe in the um, this year... I will start to update some of my um, files just for Cricut because I haven't really done that many tutorials like in the last couple years because it's kind of, I, I do a lot with it, but I kind of do the same thing over and over. So I am going to um, start updating that, but I will link down my play playlist on how you can manipulate that. So I had to do a little bit of cleaning because... I didn't realize I had a lot of paint splatters that shouldn't have been done. So I pulled out Amy Tan's Brave and Bold for this um, layout and I cut my photo to three and a half by three and a half. And the photo is, I'm just, I'm going to do a little bit of it. Um, the year 2020 was crazy for the United States, had a ton of different stuff. I have been, I'm going to probably date myself, I have been voting since I was um, 18 in 2020. So this was kind of like the 20th year of voting just in general for just any type of an election because, you know, you're always constantly voting for things, right? And, you know, we had the crazy thing that we're going on right now and just crazy things of what was going on in the United States for us. I decided this time I'm going to capture me turning in my absentee ballot because at the same time, not only have I been voting, you know, since 2000 on whatever election for the state of North Dakota, this was also my very last election that my ballot will go to North Dakota because we are in the process of retiring. So obviously my license and my husband's license and all of this stuff is going to go to the state that we're going to be living in, which is going to be South Carolina, but both Josh and I still will be working in Augusta. We're just, um, the Savannah, where we live at, the Savannah River splits North and South Carolina, or uh, Augusta and South Carolina. So we're going to live just on the other side of it in South Carolina. So it makes it up just a little bit more sweeter of a reason why I took this photo and then just, you know, it was the way of the world, right? So ultimately, um, enough of that about the photo and why I took it. So what I did was is that I started to take these pie pieces and add these little bits and bobs to it. Now, each little pie piece, I turned it into a cluster. I wanted to make sure that I left the you matter on there. I did the goal setting. I love you, you know, those types of words I just wanted to put in there because in an event of whatever we capture in our life, we feel that it's important. Otherwise, we would have never taken that photo. And it can be whatever it is. You know, this moment was for this, but there was a lot of meaning behind the photo of why I took this. You know, and a lot of times scrapbookers we do it on video or we take the photos and then we put them away in our albums and then sometimes we may never get them back out others we do go back out and I do reminisce through a lot of mine especially if my family comes over because we are military our family doesn't always come over like maybe some traditional families I don't want to say all traditional families because you know it's different for everybody but 
I wanted to have a meaning. I mean, there's always a meaning why I take a photo. I don't take photos and scrapbook them just for the sake of content on my channel. I have a reason behind why I take it. So for this, I wanted to add things to it. I wanted to add the word dream, true story, because it was a true story on why I took this photo. It was my real life. Um, it wasn't staged. It wasn't, you know, for a, a, a promotion or any of that sort. Because I will even tell you, even as a social media contenter and a social media influencer, um, just because of the numbers I have, they consider me that. I mean, a lot of times we stage our content, especially on social media. But for me, I try to make sure that if I take a brand and I want to be on that design team or I want to do that brand, I'm not staging my stuff. So, um, but that's what I did here. I wanted to take these words and I used love you twice and I didn't care, did not care. Um, for that. So that's what this is. So make sure that you go check out everything um, that is linked down below. Obviously, Amy Tan is no longer making, um, no longer making at least scrapbooking stuff. I know that she's still into like happy planners and whatnot, but this collection is still available and I feel that it's such a good collection. It's so bright, it's so pretty, and it pops against that black. I then did do my journaling along there. I left that in. So make sure that you hit that like and subscribe button. I do upload between two to three times a week. I do collaborations, design team layouts, all that fun stuff. The still shots are coming up. Make sure that you like and subscribe. I hope that you guys are all staying safe. Have a wonderful day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.